My name is Stephen Chow, the Chinese Studies Librarian at Zheng Yutong East Asian Library, University of Toronto. Today, in my part of a presentation, I would like to share with you briefly how we provide the Chinese resource services to our users to cope with the COVID-19 pandemic. Why we are here to have this webinar instead of online meeting? This is because we are now eyewitness very unique historical moment. The picture in the left is our library during the cherry blossom in spring 2019. The picture in the right is what we know the image of COVID-19. I'm really doubt that I have a chance to see this year's cherry blossom in our library. I now work from home to try to provide a service to our also staying at home users. Governments around the world take unprecedented measurement to save lives and conquer the spread of a virus right now. This is a crisis seen in a century. The Chinese word crisis, Wei Ji, consists of two characters. Wei means danger and Ji means opportunities. Coronavirus interrupted our normal pace of working and life. On the other hand, it provides us a historical opportunity. Are we capable to provide the service in alternative ways in the middle of a crisis? Are we bystanders of this crisis? The answer is no. As responsible information professionals, we have a responsibility to work together with publishers, vendors, and others to make a collective efforts to serve our users. We also need to work closely with our stakeholders, faculty, students, researchers, our colleagues to make the advantage of digital age to collect, analyze, and preserve data. We should use our knowledge, skills, and the tools to find the solutions to deal with this new challenge. Zheng Yutong East Asian Library holds over 330,000 Chinese printed monographs, serials, microfilms, audiovisual materials, and other type of uh, resources to serve our users. We also purchased and subscribed 40 some electronic databases from Chinese classics, primary resources, ebooks, to e-journals, statistic data, and government documents. In the current pandemic situation, all Universal Toronto libraries are closed. We can't provide any of our physical holding items to patrons. Instead, we depend on e-resources we have to serve users solely. This has never happened in the history of the library. This is a screenshot of East Asian Library's website. In the highlighted yellow part, it clearly states the library is closed. The library will continue to provide the library services and the resources remotely. At the same time, the university has transferred all the undergraduate and the graduate courses taught on campus to online courses. To take a quick action, the East Asian Library subject librarians provide a quick view of key East Asian studies related e-resource to help users to find our core e-resources on CJK and the Tibetan studies. As you can see, some key Chinese studies e-resources, including Chinese academic journals CAJ from CNKI, are listed here for quick access. Our Chinese e-resource providers and vendors give us support by providing temporary access many of their databases in this difficult time. 
which expand our e-resource coverage greatly to benefit online learning. Beside what we already have, over 100 of Chinese databases are accessible now from e-book, e-journals, newspapers, to Chinese classics, historical texts, primary research materials, field work data, and fine art resources, etc. Through library's IT support, authorized users can access our e-resource collections from remote locations. We also try to provide technical support for our international students who already returned to their home countries. Liaison libraries play crucial roles in the current pandemic situation to communicate with faculty as they struggle to adopt the online teaching environment. At the University of Toronto, we reach out to the departments and the individual faculty members to address their immediate needs for the library resources, especially the e-resources. Some services are directly related to the resources needs for the courses in the coming summer terms. We also provide tours and assistance for online learning. Some of the COVID-19 related library services are listed here in our main library's website. As a part of the library services, technical processing support is important to ensure the library to maintain the data sets of the library's resources up to date and accurate. In order to achieve this, we depend on remote desktop access to online catalog database and other resources, documents, as well as applications stored in the workstations in our offices. Although it's difficult to perform the job duty like original cataloging, we can still fix errors of bibliographical records, doing record enhancements remotely. We also perform other value-added duties to improve our data sets. To summarize what I shared with you above, academic librarians have responsibilities to provide services on library resources, communicate with faculty and students to address their urgent needs as they shift to online teaching and online learning. Maintain technical support to guarantee accessibility of online resources and accuracy of metadata records in the current pandemic situation. Thank you.